All right, so this is happening. Kevin Adams apparently is actively shopping Casey Middlestad. I don't know how active or accurate this is, but let's just listen to this clip. So let me tell you what I heard. Okay, I'm excited about this because uh, you've been teeing me up all morning. I have heard. Oh, God. From a very reliable source. Very reliable. Kevin Adams is shopping Casey Middlestad hard. Doesn't want to pay him. Just threw out the hammer this morning. So I pressed a little bit and said, what are they wanting in return? Didn't have that information. Just knew shopping him hard. Shopping and then, hard. Uh, then the last thing he said. I don't think you hung, need to shop Casey Middlestat. That would be the word that he used. And last but not least, he said, take it for what it's worth. But they're looking for a goalie. They don't trust the three that they have. And he said, and I said, give me one goalie's name that you heard. And he said, so let me tell you what I heard. Okay. I'm excited about. By the way, he said John Gibson. So that was what the name that was mentioned. Uh, this is per instigator Andrew Peters. He's got a lot of sources, played in the NHL. So also John Marino, who's close to the, or Joe Marino, sorry. Joe Marino, who's close to the Sabres, says, I'm not going to waste any more oxygen on this Casey Middlestat debate, but if they trade him for anything less than a legit, legitimately good top four defenseman to play with power or Dallin, I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, there's just so many conversations. Hypothetically here, the Sabres signed Casey Middlestat to a 7 times 7.1. They'll have just under 19 mil next year to sign Krebs and UPL. Lukanen. So, uh, I mean, we'll see. I, I mean, yeah, Olafson's going to move on. Eric Johnson, I'd imagine, move on. And the Vets. Salary cap's not an issue here. Middlestat's been the big production guy for Buffalo this year. If you guys have been missing the boat, obviously the Sabres have been a struggle this year. Middlestat's been one of the more consistent players in the Sabres. He's really growing into his own finally as like a top 10 pick. Uh, he's just finally showing well. So I think for Middlestat, when you're talking about a guy that like top 10, top 15 pick, he's always been regarded as a high um, value, high potential. But like there's been years with the Sabres here where he just hasn't developed to what they expected. But now this year you're seeing it. 7.1, it kind of gives me like the Dylan Cousins vibe. Like you're just, you're locking him up for seven years knowing that, okay, Casey Middlestat's going to be like a very good second liner for you down the stretch here for the next seven years. And you're paying him 7.1. Why? Because the salary cap's going to go up and because that value is going to be at the highest probably by year three, year four, year five, right? When Middlestat's like mid to late twenties, that's the value, right? I'm kind of all over the place on this one. I, I I think I talked about middle stat trade rumors like two years ago, like a year ago. Like, why are you going to trade him now? Like, is, he's going to be up for a new contract. He's having a good year, but not like enough of a year for where you have to overpay. I feel like if you get middle stat between six and seven million, you do that. So if there's a scenario where the Sabres can pay him that, I think you do that. If middle stat's wanting much more over seven, then maybe I'm having the conversation of going, okay, maybe we look elsewhere. We trade him for a goalie. We trade him for a defenseman. I could see something like that. I mean, look what the Canucks did. They traded for Philip Peronik on the right side. Look how much value that's brought to the Canucks. I really think the Sabres need something like that. They've got power on the left side. They've got Dalian on the left side. They've got Ryan Johnson on the left side. They've got Matias Samuelson. Yeah, who can play both sides, but a left-hand shot defenseman. I mean, it's just getting frustrating. I'm not even a Sabres fan, but Sabres fans, I feel you. I definitely feel you. It's frustrating. So I'm just going to say either get a goalie or get a right shot defenseman. I cannot believe they thought Clifton was an answer. Kevin Adams, I was praising the guy like a year ago. Off season, just so brutal. Like signings like Clifton and Eric Johnson. I actually didn't mind the Eric Johnson just because it's one year, but Clifton, you got to be out of your mind. So um, yeah, if they can trade middle stat for a stud top four defenseman, sure. Or a goalie. I mean, I'll say this, and I'll just throw this out there. If you're the Buffalo Sabres, surely you got to be calling Anaheim for two guys, two names. One being, and again, this is a left shot defenseman, but he can play both sides. But the goalie, John Gibson. And two, just call about Cam Fowler. See about the availability. I think Cam Fowler would be a stud next to Rasmus Dallin. He can play the right side. He's a left shot defenseman, yes. So the Sabres would be stacked with left shot guys. But, I mean, you got to get creative here. So... That's my one target. I mean, I could throw a bunch of other, like, also call St. Louis for, like, a Pareko. Again, I could go for a bunch of examples here, but 
Um, those are the examples I would look at. So Casey Middlestat, could he get dealt? I think for the right price, right uh, player coming back in the deal. I don't think they should be trading them, but it seems like there's a lot of potential that they could. So subscribe, like, comment, notification bell. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.